It's Thursday, July 3rd, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. Panama's new president is offering amnesty to gangs who turn in their weapons before the 1st of August. Shortly after his inauguration on Tuesday, Juan Carlos Varela urged members of the country's more than 200 gangs to cut ties with the criminal underworld and join civilian life. Murder rates have dropped nearly a fifth over the last five years despite a growing number of street gangs. But gangs and drug traffickers were linked to most of the 600 murders recorded last year. Activists and politicians in Pakistan are outraged over a new anti-terrorism law that grants police officers the powers to shoot and kill alleged terrorists. Parliament passed the legislation on Wednesday, as the army continued an all-out offensive against the militants in the remote North Waziristan region. Under the law, police can conduct searches without warrants, and they can keep prisoners at secret facilities and detain suspects for questioning for up to 60 days without charge. While warships and navy patrols have had success in reducing piracy off the Horn of Africa, a group of young Somalis is using the weapon of education to fight it at home. Pirates in the region reportedly netted more than $400 million in ransom money between 2005 and 2012. The group is leading a campaign aimed at convincing young people that they have alternatives to earn a decent living. Spacecraft is configured for launch. U.S. space agency NASA has launched its first rocket to study a greenhouse gas that's tied to climate change. The two-year, $468 million mission will pinpoint where on the Earth's surface carbon dioxide is absorbed and emitted. Half of the 40 billion tons of carbon dioxide humans generate every year stays in the atmosphere. The data collected should give scientists a better idea of how greenhouse gases influence climate. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. It's easy for somebody on the streets to sit there and say, hey, you're racially segregating. Yeah. No, we're segregating by gang because if you try to put two opposing gang members in the same cell, they're going to stab they each other. They are going <laughs> to stab each other.